Hi all, this is Mike with Raider Dog Ranch. Today we're going to crack open this Husqvarna PW3100 pressure washer and find out why the pull cord is not working any longer. The last time I was using it, I tried to restart it after giving it some cool down time and I heard a pop and you can see it's not twisting the engine anymore. Oh, I'm just getting this free spinning thing when I pull the rope so we need to crack it open and figure out why. So there's three screws here, here, and here that remove this top cover. When I first took it apart, there was a white gear right here and a couple of little teeth that come out. They call them crawls. And there's a friction plate here. Well, that's what broke. And the problem is they make that plate out of plastic. So if you pull on it a few times, maybe a little too hard, then that plastic can break. There's a little key that goes in here. I'll show you all that on the new part when we open it up. But it's really kind of a the weak spot in the design. Everything else is metal. And you can see, you know, it's probably got about three years of use on it. You know, it's in decent shape, but not great shape. But uh, that was definitely the weak link with no electric start. This is a Briggs & Stratton engine. Here you go, Briggs & Stratton EXI 875. The model number on it is a 12P2. So I did a lot of research on YouTube to determine why or if I could get that friction plate replaced. And for this particular Briggs & Stratton model, it doesn't look like they offer the friction plate only. You have to replace the entire recoil section. So that would be this entire piece. Um, I got mine off Amazon for about 30 bucks. So in the back of the engine here, you can see there's a barcode and a QR code there. That's really helpful because you can scan that QR code and it'll take you straight to Briggs & Stratton's parts page for this engine. So if you're looking for a specific part, whether it's this Briggs engine or another one, look for that QR code. That was a really big help in jumping straight to the parts. And that's where I saw they don't offer the friction plate all by itself. You have to order the entire rewind housing like we're gonna show for in a minute. All right, here's the box. Again, I'll link the part number in the description. entire housing and you can see here this is the friction plate I was talking about so this plate broke this pin I pulled this pin out once this pin broke and it has these little and if you can see this there's these little gears underneath here these gears open up when you spin it I'll show you so when I see those gears open up these gears are gonna grab the engine and spin the engine so off your force that is gonna start turning the engine and hopefully you'll get a spark and it'll start up so if you think about it, the entire compression and force of the engine is being held against these little plastic parts. You can imagine that's not going to last over time. It would really be nice if Briggs would replace these little plastic parts with metal and some of these engines could last a really long time. But if you watch my channel, then you'll know how to replace it. And rather than buying a $300 pressure washer, you'll buy a $30 part. So the good news is this is literally a bolt-on replacement to fix this problem. The bad news is they could have made it easier for us if they would just let us buy the friction plates directly. So this is, I can see this is kind of a universal fit because it's got some other holes in here that we're not going to be using. We're only going to need these three. Look at these snug down and See if we've got power. There we go. Okay, let's see what we got. All right, it's catching now. That's good. That's where those teeth are coming out. So there you go. For $30, maybe $40, you can replace the rewind cover. Unfortunately, it's really a $10 part in there that I needed for my case, but either way, I've got a working pressure washer again. So if you enjoyed this, please click like, subscribe to the channel, and throw some comments in there if you have any ideas on maybe there was a part out there that fits and it doesn't say it does, and maybe you can help us all. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.